Good morning, AC. I'm Brooklyn here with Jordan, and today is Friday, May 17th, and here are your morning announcements to end your week. Tomorrow is the last day to see the art show from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Lebanon Valley Council on the Arts Building. Thank you for supporting the arts. The Color Guard unit of the AC Marching Band is recruiting any student currently in grades 7 through 11 who is interested in dancing, flag choreography, and performing with the marching band during the fall 2024 season. No experience is necessary. This is a great way to get involved with a top-notch and close-knit group. Not sure what Color Guard entails? If interested in signing up, see Mr. Nairhood in the band room for information and the season schedule. All high school students taking finals, please check Schoology so that you may print out the permission slip for you to participate in Open Campus the week of June 3rd. High school yearbooks distribution will take place on Wednesday, May 29th. If you purchased a book, you will report to period one, collect your yearbook ticket, and report to the cafeteria for, for breakfast and end of the year slideshow and the yearbook signing. You will miss periods one, two, and three. Very limited numbers are still available for purchase. More information will be shared on Schoology. Are you gonna sign my yearbook, Brooklyn? I'll think about it. Okay, okay. Good luck to the members of the track team who will be participating in districts at Shippensburg University. We also wish the baseball and softball teams good luck on Monday when they participate in their district games. Anyone interested in joining the Minithon Committee, applications are outside Mrs. Atkins' room 211. If you are a current member and would like to be considered for a chair position, please see Mrs. Atkins for the application. Both applications are due today. Turn those in, guys. Happy birthday to Christy Beekler and Bryce Nagel. Have a great day, you guys. Today's lunch is chicken nuggets with seasoned steamed carrots and a tropical pineapple tibbets or barbecue pork and mac and cheese with garlic toast. That's all for your news today, AC. And have a Frank Furter Friday. Here's your Dutch on the street. Let's go. Oh, hey, AC. Didn't see you guys there. I'm too busy doing my last minute assignments for the end of the school year. But welcome back to another week of Dutch on the Street. I'm your host, Carson Gro, And sadly, this will be the last episode of Dutch on the Street for this school year. And I don't know if it's because I'm graduating in two weeks, but I was curious to see where people will think they will be in 10 years. So roll the clips. Darian, where will we be in 10 years? Uh, probably going to be in the NFL. I just won a Super Bowl. I'm going to hit stick Marvin Harrison Jr. because I hate that guy. And Dallas Cowboys suck. I hope you're the next Tom Brady, Darian. I'm praying for you. Thank you. Again, where will you be in 10 years? In 10 years, I'm going to have eight figures in my bank account. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. And I'm going to be working in New York City for some big law firm or something like that, all right? So if you ever get in legal trouble, you come to the big rag, I'll help you out. Mr. Nell, where will you be in 10 years? Where will I be in 10 years? Uh, I like to think that by 10 years from now, I'll be an English teacher, uh, teaching English, the, my favorite all-time subject, and just enjoying life, mainly. All right, that, that's good outlook. Thank you, Mr. Nell. All right, Senor, where will you be in 10 years? Ten years, I'll be 70 years old. Okay. I hope to still be alive. Mm -hmm. And hopefully Mrs. Senor and I will be traveling somewhere or else just enjoying retirement on the farm. All right, Emily, where will you be in 10 years? I will have my first house bought and a family. All right, Megan, where do you think you'll be in 10 years? Um, in 10 years, I'm going to be a trophy wife, married to an MLB player, driving a Range Rover at the games with my three kids and a dog, and going to yoga class every morning. Absolutely, Ooh. she needs a job. No! <laughs> Ainsley, where will you be in 10 years? In 10 years, I hope I'm married, I have kids, and I'm a successful person. All right, awesome. What about you, Carson? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? That's a good question. Um, I don't know. Who's going to take over Dutch on the Street next year? Well, if anybody wants it, they're going to have to fight me for it. 